Hey guys, welcome back to That Awkward Show. My name is LJ Galvin, and today we're going to be talking about Halloween cocktails, some spooky wooky brews. If you're planning your own party, or if you plan to attend someone's party, what better way to delight them than with an awesome Halloween cocktail that you can bring? The flavors in these vary a lot, but I feel like there's one for each taste, so at least you'll have diversity to choose from. Let's get to it! So let's get to the ingredients. The Halloween party that I had this year was called the Witching Hour. They always have to have some sort of theme. I had to read up on witches and sort of get inspired. The first drink that I'm going to teach you how to make is called the Sassy Witches Brew. You have to have the following ingredients. Vanique, it's like shimmery liqueur, some champagne, and the best part, some dry ice, which already looks spooky on its own. So for the Sassy Witch's Brew, we're gonna pour two ounces of the meat. Pour two ounces. Now we're gonna pour two ounces of champagne. Two ounces of champagne. You're gonna wanna add dry ice. Be very careful because dry ice is crazy cold so you don't wanna touch it with your hand. And don't worry, it is completely safe to drink. You add just a little tiny bit and it already starts bubbling and giving a really cool effect. Like a witchy potion. Cheers, delicious. So this second drink is called The Raven. Uh, this one's based on Edgar Allan Poe's story. So what you want to do is, we're going to take three blackberries and we're going to put them in a shaker. And we're going to add a little bit of mint leaves. Around three or four mint leaves should be enough. And after that we're going to want to mash them up with our muddler. This is like making butter. I wonder if Paula Dean ever made a drink recipe with butter. One shot of rum. Don't sand really it, it's actually just one shot. Close the shaker. You may feel like it's not a lot, but what we're gonna do is a little bit of cranberry juice. There we go. Add to garnish, use one of our blackberries. And they can rest at the top of your glass. And there we go, that's the Raven. It tastes very refreshing because of the mint, and also it comes with snacks. So I guess this last drink is the one that's the little bit most complicated, but it's only because it has the most ingredients. So the first thing you wanna do is get a mason jar, one shot and a half of vodka. 0.5 ounces, just half a shot. Green color, half a shot or 0.5 ounces of blue curacao. Three ounces, which I've already measured in this, orange juice. It's already looking pretty cool and spooky. Three shots, because it's three ounces of lime soda. Gummy worms. So we're gonna add some. You can just bend one of the gummy worms over the rim. Our green concoction. So what you want to do for this drink is actually use a straw. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you actually make the drinks. And if you do, let me know in the comments how much you like them. Don't forget that I've also been making videos all October long for Halloween. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the links right here. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay awkward. See you next time, guys. This one's really good. I can't tell if I'm already talking like this because I've been drinking all the drinks I made for you or it's 12 a.m. and I'm still uh, recording videos for you guys. So I know that this is a little behind the scenes because you can see the rest of my house, but I actually wanted to take a moment to give a shout out to my friends that have been watching 
Rob Rob, Matthew, happy birthday, and Diana, happy birthday. I know that your birthday was this week, so cheers to you, girl. 